versus girl, girl versus guy. This Seamus and Annie's battle of the sexes on Lafayette's country leader, K105. Well, good morning, 816, Seamus and Annie in the morning, time for battle of the sexes, and Kathy's back with us for day number three. Kathy, how are you doing? I'm good. You ready to roll? You ready to win today? I hope so. Mm-hmm. It's uh, almost my birthday. Oh, yes. oh I see. But I've, unfortunately, yeah. I've already come up with a question, so I can't make them easier for you. Because normally <laughs> I would. <laughs> He's lying. Uh, we also have Dan on the line. Dan, what do you got going on today, buddy? Uh, just on the way to the doctor. We told I got strep throat. <laughs> Did we tell you got strep throat? Yeah. Well, going to. Now Not you... official till they stick that long Q-tip in your throat. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Oh, I hurt just thinking about Amoxicillin it. Amoxicillin or Z-Pack. That's what you want to leave with. Okay, yeah. uh, here we go. Three questions for Dan that Kathy should know. Three questions for Kathy that Dan should know. Kathy, we're going to start with you because two times in a row you'd end up in second place. Here okay, is your... you don't have to say that on the radio. Uh, oh, you, my, I'm sorry. I just wanted to we make sure. We have to say everything on the radio. <laughs> i got to explain. They're like, why is she on day number three? Everyone wants to know. And I was like, well, she ended up in second place two times in a row. And when you lose, you have to come back. So I didn't want anyone confused, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Kathy. Your first question. How many events are in a pentathlon? It's a track and field event. How many events are in a pentathlon? Is it three, five, or ten? Ten. No, that's the decathlon. Ah. It's a pentathlon. It's five. I've never even heard of one. That's what I said, five. No, no five, but I have Kathy, I have supersonic hearing and... <laughs> I do have the uh, memory span of a goldfish, but unfortunately for you, it's about 30 seconds, and I still remember. What? Here we go. Uh, Dan, your first question. Dan, speaking of fish, what color was the fish Dory in Finding Nemo? Yellow, red, or blue? I'm going to go with blue. Yes. Dory was blue? That's been my question. Bubbles, I love bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I put them down as a zero. That's, you got that one right. One to zero. Here we go, Kathy, your second question. What is Takati? What is Takati? Is that oil, whiskey, or beer? Takati. I'm going to say whiskey. Mm, no, it's actually beer. Yeah, it was alcohol. I would have said whiskey, too. It's a, uh, it's a uh, Mexican beer. Hmm. Oh, Big, I should have knew that. You? Oh, really? Because why? Because you're Mexican or because you like beer? My best friend's Mexican. Oh, you should like know. beer. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like Kathy. I hope you lose again. <laughs> Here we go. Dan, second question. Get it right and this thing's over. Poor Dan. He's just trying to get to the doctor. Uh, <laughs> Dan, what was Alicia Silverstone's character's name on Clueless, the movie? Was it Cher, Star, or Tiffany? Cher. Yes. Wow, I'm still a guy. Now, there ain't no hope for you today, but, you know, Seamus is happy. We're going to be playing with you again tomorrow. I like you, Kathy. <laughs> Good stuff. You'll be ready for tomorrow morning, all right? All right. All right. And, Dan, I hope you don't have strep throat, but uh, you seem like you probably think you do. But uh, you also are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, Dan, when you feel all better. Go to Pizza Hut. You've got gift certificates for their Wednesday buffet. And we got more Battle Sexes tomorrow morning with Kathy on K105. <laughs>